Well, Jack Ma's rags to riches story is legendary and has helped him make him China's most well-known business leader. But he sees himself first and foremost as a teacher, which was his first profession. Tonight in a CCTV exclusive, the founder of Alibaba speaks to us about his love of teaching. And we start with Ma telling us why he wanted to learn English. When I was um, like 11, 12 years old, and my uh, geography teacher, she came to the classroom and say, well, geography is very important. Because she said, this morning I was in the West Lake in Hangzhou and met some Westerners. And she said, I asked, where are you from? And they said, some nation. She said, I don't know. So they draw a map. They say, now I know because the, from the map, I know where they're from. So she told us the story. And I say, hmm, very interesting. If I can communicate with the Westerners about, about the, uh, the world, it would be quite interesting. For nine years, every morning, almost where the snow, rain, sun, I went there. Uh, looking for foreign tourists to become the free guide, and I made a lot of friends. This trained me the way of think different from the other kids in China in my generation. Because everything I learned from the, the, the tourists, foreign tourists, are so different from the things I learned from the, my, from the schools, my parents, because we thought China was like that, the world was like that, in our books, you know. But the thing, that I learned from outside are that's so different. So that trained my way of thinking different. When people talk about everything, when everything people agree, normally I take one minute to think about, is that true? When everything disagree, I say, take about one minute, think about it, hmm, is that true? So that was a training. Since there's no way to learn English at that time, there's no teachers in our city who can teach people to speak English. So I listened to the BBC and Voice of America. And there, every evening, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, I open my video you know, from the, the first uh, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I listened to the uh, VOA. The first book I heard about is the, the Adventure of Tom Sawyer's. And sometimes, if the signal is better, I can listen to the VBBC, English World News. When I was, uh, l you know, trying to uh, pass the examinations for university, it was only six point, you know, six to seven percent of the people of the students can go to university. So I failed three times, and then. Um, all the good schools I applied for, no, no school accepted me. There's only the Hanzhou Teachers College accepted me. And uh, I went there, and for four years I was trained there, and I thought, you know, I should never ever be a teacher, because I, I never thought I would be a teacher. And after I graduated, I was the only guy assigned to teach in a university among the 500 graduates, because I was considered to be a good student. I feel proud of for in the, uh, six years in, in the teaching. Uh, among the five years, among the six, I was elected by my students, the best teacher of the university. Since 1999, I'm a business people leader for the Alibaba Group. I still call myself chief education officer. Everywhere I go, I spend time with young people, tell, sharing them my experience, sharing them my encouragement and I know not my knowledge. In the past 16 years as a business leader, leader and as an entrepreneur, I still work as a teacher. And I, I think I got my respect it's different from the other CEOs that in my mind, I look at my employee, my colleagues as the students. I want them to do better than I am. Instead of the most of the business people think about the money, I think about how we can make our people better than the others. If a people better than the others, then our product and service technology will be better than us. Everybody can be a teacher. In the, you, know, you, can, you can share your experience, share your knowledge. So, because people worry, is, today the world is a lack of the teachers. And the students are lack of the teachers. But actually, we have millions and millions of educated people in, in all of the world. So, if you want to be a teacher, you don't have to be in the classroom. 
while Mark continues his focus on education, he's now one of 25 global leaders serving on the International Commission on Financing Global Education Opportunity. The group is chaired by former UK Prime Minister Gordon Brown. Now, this new global initiative seeks to develop a compelling investment case and financing pathway for achieving educational opportunities. It mainly serves children from middle and low-income countries. 